Hello, it's Jesse here today, and I'm going to talk about my doctor's appointment earlier this week. Because I went in about two months ago to my doctor and said, mm, trans want to look into hormones, so they forwarded me to another doctor who takes care of the hormones. Now, obviously, with the current pandemic, some things had to be changed up because not allowed to go anywhere. Uh, so it was a video meeting, which went well enough. She was very nice and understanding. Uh, not an endocrinologist, but a medical doctor who specializes in this. Because now it's under the informed consent model, which basically means that if you are of stable mind, and once you've been informed of the ramifications of the treatment that you're seeking, you get the treatment. Um, so, yeah, I'm stable. Yay! Uh, one of the other limitations, of course, is that... Uh, all the labs are shut down for anything except for critical essential tests. Luckily, I had a whole batch of tests done just before Christmas, so my blood work's good to go. Uh, the only other thing that I have to concern myself with is blood pressure, because that wasn't tested in a while. So actually, I picked up a blood pressure monitor because it's like, mm, I should probably have one anyways. Blood pressure's slightly high, not ridiculously high. Pretty normal for my age and everything else like that. So, in four weeks, have another meeting, which might be in person or might be video. Don't know. Um, and at that point in time, if I still want it, I get a prescription. Yay! Um, how am I feeling about this? Actually, I'm feeling pretty good and confident still. It's a lot more real than it was, but... Yeah, no, it's pretty exciting. It was easier than I expected to go through this process to get to this point. Of course, we'll see how it goes after that point. Uh, I know that some people, once they start hormones, a lot of people say everything feels right and everything comes into line. Other people are like, mm, way wrong. I talked that over with her. Um, and she and I said, yeah, so basically, I mean, if it's really just not working for me, I can stop. She's like, well, yeah. I'm like, great. So, yeah. I guess end of May, it looks like I'll be starting hormones, and we'll see how it goes from there. I don't have doubts. Am I apprehensive? Yeah, of course, I should be apprehensive. I mean, there's always concerns and everything when you're doing something like this. I mean, I don't even have a tattoo, and this might be much more impactful on my life than a tattoo, that's for darn sure. But, yeah... Um, she also is sending me a prescription for electrolysis because my health plan will cover it if I have a prescription and, uh, is also sending me one for voice therapy because my health plan will cover that also. So I'm like, oh, might as well use the health plan, right? Um, yeah, I guess that's where I'm standing. That this is all moving forward slightly faster than I would have thought six months ago eight months ago, a year ago. Not ridiculously fast. Like There's lots of time for me to press pause or stop at any time that I want. And I guess that's one of the key things that you have to remember is that do your research from actual, you know, sites um, that are medical sites. We're talking the Mayo Clinic. We're talking, right, government sites. We're talking not random sites all over the internet, actual medical sites. Um, actually, the Wikipedia article on hormone replacement therapy is actually quite thorough and quite informative and a really good uh, jumping off point because you can always click the links at the bottom where they have their references listed and you can double check them. You can go to those source references. So, yeah, if you're thinking about it, do some research and I guess I'll let you know how it goes. Stay safe during the pandemic. And that's all I have to say today. So, it's Jesse signing off. Thank you very much for watching.